Art Rant, December the 10th, 2009. I want to talk today about what I think the big picture looks like and uh, what insight I might have into what I believe to be going on in the world at large and how artists, myself, fits into this big picture. And uh, I made notes how to uh, uh, sort of headline this video and I guess it's the, the word I thought of today was motivation. What is it that underlies my desire to come to the studio and make paintings and sculptures and be creative to the best of my ability just sort of let things out, express myself. So what is it that motivates me? And I'm sure other artists may feel sim have similar responses, feelings. And uh, obviously, we, we we have we see news and we get inundated with information and all the things that are going on. But to extract the essentials is very important for me as an artist because uh, the paintings that I do may not necessarily uh, directly relate to current events, for example, but they do or they are influenced by all the information that is coming at me. And one of the most important things that is going on right now, I believe, is a legal extraction of all the existing wealth on the planet into the hands of an oligarchy. Very few people will actually own everything. This is not a new idea. This is not something that is, uh, uh, you know, that, that I came up with. It's it's fairly obvious. And the last nail in this coffin, I think, is going to be since the beginning of time. There have always been rulers and people that want to amass great wealth and control a lot of people. And what I think has uh, now occurred that is very clear to me is to do with climate change and Al Gore and his tirade on uh, uh, the uh, impending doom because of climate change based on man-made carbon, carbon CO2 emissions and all this and Copenhagen is the final venue or one of the venues, maybe the final venue, where uh, a new order is going to be established to extract all the remaining wealth left in the hands of what is the middle class which is getting smaller and smaller and uh, ultimately there will only be a servant class made up of 99 percent of the population and a class we feed uh, about one percent of the population and I think this is where we're headed and uh, uh, let's not be fooled by any kind of uh, uh, distractions through films and movies and uh, food and sex and whatever you want a distraction, art even, uh, this is going on, I think this is happening. And uh, so how do I fit into that? How do I, wh what do I do? Do I go out and protest? Do I go onto the barricades and, uh, and try to, you know, bring back the guillotine and chop off heads? What, what is it? What, what, what are we going to do? Well, you know, my, my response is, is, uh, probably somewhat limited because I'm, I'm making paintings and who's going to look at my paintings and I'm obviously making efforts to show my paintings uh, in galleries and uh, wherever I have the opportunity. And, uh, uh, but the point I thought today was, here's, here's the crux for me. When the creative mind is fully functioning and Assuming that I have something to say and my work is, is of interest to other people, what happens, I believe, is what I would call a deep tissue pleasure. And through this deep tissue pleasure, the endorphins that, that are released and give us uh, sort of hope and desire to live and experience also activate a mental process that becomes um, clear. People will be able to see more clearly and make decisions 
not based on uh, uh, dull, slow minds, but the creative mind is a clear mind. So the whole art side of this, what I wanted to drive towards, is the idea that we're going through changes, and wherever we end up uh, after these changes have occurred, and the way things will look, have a lot to do with how clearly we can see things, how honestly we can look at the world situation and each other's, uh, uh, our interaction with, with each other. And my part in this would be to release a deep tissue pleasure that facilitates a clearer way of thinking about ourselves and the world we're in. So. Uh, there have been some good examples in the past where humankind has made major steps of clear thinking. Uh, just off the top of my head, I would say Magna Carta uh, in 12, this, this is high school history, uh, 12, 10, 12, 15, something like that. Magna Carta uh, be, be entrenched the rights of people and made the king subject to law. So the king was subservient to the rule of law, which is a major step, so that the oligarchs can't really uh, kind of take things over. I have a notice on my computer here, restart later. Um, so, the idea that there are events in our history that uh, we make steps forward, uh, they have occurred. Another one is the Treaty of Westphalia, which was in uh, 1648, which allowed, or which endorsed that sovereign states be allowed to make their own decisions based on their particular needs and requirements without uh, having to justify that to another, to another people or sovereign state. So that I think was a major step towards our, uh, uh, step towards a clear thought of how we wanna be in the world. So. My, my, my take on this, my um, uh, position as an artist would be to release in people that see my work this deep tissue pleasure that allows one to look at the world with clarity and uh, hopefulness and uh, uh, and I, I, I'm, I'm convinced that if we're able to connect to that part of ourselves that, 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 that activates these, these, these mental, these endorphins that allow us to, uh, to innervate, I don't know what the word would be, but just, just to think more clearly so we don't step into the muck the way things are being directed and where we're being directed. I see this as being very important. I'm not political in my work. I, I don't think it's, it's relevant. I think there is a much deeper connection that I can make with people that's way beyond political, and that's what I'm aiming for. And I, I think other artists that, that are, are good at what they do are able to unleash these, uh, uh, these pleasures on people that allow their minds to become creative and um, make the right choices.